Preparing media is a basic laboratory skill that you will acquire during your academic experience. In this example, we will be measuring 11.5 grams of nutrient agar powder, which is used to make solid substrate on which to grow bacteria and plants. The first step is to measure the correct amount of liquids or powders you will need to prepare the medium. In this example, since we are only using a prepared powder, we will need a mass balance, the nutrient agar powder, a whey boat, and a spatula. To begin, place the whey boat on the balance and then tear or zero the balance so that the value showing on the scale includes the mass of the whey boat. Using the spatula, scoop a small amount of powder onto the whey boat. Continue doing this until the balance indicates the desired amount of material, in this case 11.5 grams. The balance need not display exactly 11.50 grams, but somewhere in the neighborhood of 11.46 to 11.54 will be acceptable. Carefully add a small amount of powder at a time, especially as you begin to reach the end point. When you have reached the desired amount, replace the lid on the container and set aside the measured powder until the next step. Next, we are going to mix the powder into distilled water to form a solution. For this, we will need a stirring bar, the correct volume of water, a flask, a stirring hot plate, the nutrient agar powder that we measured in the previous step, and a magnetic wand. The flask should be three to four times the volume of the total volume we will be mixing. In this case, we will be making 500 milliliters of the solution, so the flask should be two to three liters in total volume. Carefully decant the 500 milliliters of water from the graduated cylinder into the flask. Slide the magnetic stirring bar into the flask down the side and set the flask onto the stirring hot plate. Begin stirring the water by adjusting the stirring knob. At this time, we'll also want to turn on the heat. Agar powder must be boiled for about one minute to help it go into solution. Stirring is needed so that the agar does not stick to the bottom of the flask and burn. Add the powder to the flask a little bit at a time. Adding the entire contents of our 11.5 grams of powder all at one time will result in the powder forming clumps. This process may take a minute or two, so be patient. As you add the powder, you can see the water changing from clear to a cloudy, pale yellow. Notice the steady stream of powder being carefully added to the water. Once all of the agar is added, continue stirring and heating until the solution boils for one minute. This could also take five to ten minutes, so again, be patient. You will be able to tell when the agar goes into solution because the solution will turn from a cloudy color to a clear color. Most solutions will have some color, in this case nutrient agar forms a yellowish color, but you will still be able to see through the liquid. Carefully pour the liquid into a container that is safe for autoclaving, such as shown in the example. 
Autoclaving is necessary to kill any microorganisms, such as bacteria or fungi, that may have contaminated the solution. Sterile or aseptic conditions are an absolute requirement when using microbiological techniques. This solution is now ready to be autoclaved. It can then be poured into petri dishes or culture tubes to be used in our study. Most media can be prepared using this or a similar technique.